Welcome to Master Math. Here's a couple of tips that will help you get the most out of this lesson. First of all, you can watch it three, four, five times if you need. Secondly, if you go through a section and don't understand what we're talking about, hit your back button and review that section again. Next, when you come to a You Try It slide, hit your pause button, pull out some paper and pencil, do the problem yourself, and then hit the forward key to move on to my answer. Well, I hope you learn a little bit of math today and have a good time. This is a really huge aquarium. I, I think it's a gorgeous thing. And, and I wonder how big it is. I wonder how much water this aquarium holds. Another way to say that would be, I wonder what the volume of this aquarium is. I wonder how big the inside of this space is. And that's what we're going to be talking about today. We're going to be talking about the volume of prisms, cylinders, pyramids, and cones. You'll be surprised how easy this is. It's really not hard at all. We're going to talk about four different kinds of figures. We're going to talk about a prism, and we're going to talk about a cylinder, and both of these shapes have two bases that are pretty much identical on either side of the shape, and then they're filled in with lateral sides. And the formula for the volume of either a prism or a cylinder is the area of the base, which we've denoted here as capital B, times the height. Now there's two other kinds of figures we're going to talk about, a pyramid and a cone. And you can see how those are different from the prism and the cylinder. They don't have two bases, they've only got one base. And opposite the base, they come to a point. And there's, there's a different volume form, formula for these. The volume equals one-third the area of the base times the height. So it's pretty easy. If it comes to a point, the volume would be one-third the area of the base times the height. If it has two bases, then the volume would be the area of the base times the height. Now all we need to do is remember a couple of formulas for the areas so we can calculate the area of the base, and then we can calculate the volume. For instance, this is a square prism, and the base is 6 inches by 6 inches. And it has two bases, so the volume would be the area of the base times the height, or 6 times 6 times 12, which is 432 cubic inches. But this shape, a cone, only has one base, it comes to a point, so the volume is going to be one-third the area of the base times the height. Now the base is a circle, so we have to use that formula, pi r squared, to calculate the area of the base. And to calculate the volume, we'd have one-third times the area of the base, 3.14 times 6 squared, times the height, 12. Or we'd have a volume of 452 0.16 cubic inches. You try this one. Hit your pause button, try the problem on a piece of paper, and then hit your forward key to move on to my answer. I hope you found this easy. This shape which is a triangular prism, has two bases. So the basic formula is volume equals the area of the base times the height. Now the base is a triangle, so we have to use the formula for the area of a triangle, which is one-half the base times the height. 
So the volume would be one half the base times the height, or one half times five times four, times the height of the figure, which is ten, and the volume is one hundred cubic centimeters. This time we've got a pyramid, and it's only got one base and comes to a point at the other end, so the volume formula is one-third the area of the base times the height. So the volume equals one-third times 110 times 125 times the height, or 100. And that totals a massive 458,333 point thirty three cubic feet. Well there's two steps we've got to take to figure out how many gallons will fit in this water tower. The first is to figure out the volume of the water tower in cubic feet and then we got to convert that cubic feet to gallons. So the volume of that water tower, which is 12 foot in radius with a height of 15 feet, would be 3.14 times 12 squared times the height of 15 feet. Or the volume equals 6,782.4 cubic feet. Well now we've got to figure out how many gallons 6,782.4 cubic feet is. And they tell us that one gallon is 0 0.133681 cubic feet. So how many times will 1.133681 go into 6782.4? Well, we'll divide it and we'll come up with 50,735 point seven one gallons. Well that's our lesson on the volume of prisms, cylinders, pyramids, and cones. Hope you learned a lot. Now let's figure out how much you actually learn. Go to www.mastermath.info and download the worksheet on volume of prisms, cylinders, pyramids, and cones. After you've done the worksheet, go back to Master Math and try the quiz on the volume of prisms, cylinders, pyramids, and cones. And be sure to come back and see us again soon.